Hi everyone, it's Kleb here from Unix Tutorial. Just want to show you super quickly how you can edit the system file in Linux with Vim Editor. VI is a powerful text editor, one of the oldest around. It was developed in 1976 by Bill Joy and was called VI meaning visual because it showed you a full screen of editable text and allowed easy cursor navigation. On most Unix and Linux distros nowadays, VI standard is implemented using Vim editor. Vim stands for VI improved. You can always run VI dash dash version to confirm what editor you have. See, I have to scroll up to confirm that even though I can type VI and not Vim, it is really the Vim editor that gets started. And 8.1 is a recent enough point version. I believe latest point release is 8.2. And that was um, released a year later in December 2019. Back to the topic of today's chat. Let's talk about system files. What do I mean by that? These are the files for your OS configuration. They're usually located in etc directory. These files define how your system services and core software elements are configured. They're not meant to be updated by regular users, but most of them have relaxed permissions that would allow any user to view their contents. See the permissions right here in all this column? User root owns the wgetrc file and has the right permission. But all the other groups and users have permission to read the file. That's the group permission, that's the user permission. For instance, I'm a standard user grace on this system. And I can see what's inside this wgetrc file because the permissions allow me. The file that I want to edit is called etc hosts. The owner of it is root as expected but the read permissions are there for the group and for the other users, so I can inspect it like so. You can see the mapping between IP addresses and host names in this file. The IP addresses are on the left and the host names are on the right. Becky is the name of this host name. I need to update this file and add a new entry there for my made up domain name. For example, uh, super website 123.com. If I use ping command here, the host name is not going to resolve, I'm hoping. Let's try it super website 123.com. Yeah, it says not found. Cool, so what I want is to add another entry to this etc hosts file and make this name resolve to the local IP address just like Becky does. We need to edit the file. And in order to edit it, I need to have root privileges because that's the only user that has the right permissions for it. Specifically, it's just one command I need to run as root. So I'll just use the sudo command. So I'm going to use sudo command like this, sudo theme etc hosts. I'll explain the syntax for sudo briefly. sudo means switch user and then do the specified command sudo. So the specified command is vim and the parameter for it is the file that I want to edit, the etc hosts. Let's do that. Excellent. So we see our file here and we're actually inside the vim editor right now. Vim has multiple modes of operation. I won't be explaining them all here in detail, but just want to briefly walk you through them. This first mode is, is, is called an operation mode. It allows you to navigate the file and allows you to start typing Vim commands to manipulate the text. On most systems I can move around with just the arrows. On some older systems, more traditional way, 
using the HJKL keys is going to be needed. By the way, you navigate your text. Right, so let's edit the file. This, as you probably guess, will involve switching the mode. So in order to add the line that I want here, we need to switch from the operation mode into insert mode, specifically the variety of it that's called append, because this is going to append the changes to the line after the cursor position. So I'm going to press letter A here to enter this mode. And then I just need to start typing my changes. So I'm pressing enter and I'm typing the same IP address 127011 and then that domain name that I came up with super website 123.com. We're just about done with the changes. That's all that we wanted. But now we need to switch back to a different mode. See how it shows here that it's currently in the insert mode. Um, right here. So we need to press escape to change back from it into the command mode. All right, so we're back into the command mode. And in order to save the file, we actually need to um, press colon and get into the so-called last line mode. So what it means is that when I press the column, it shows me a last line in the screen and it expects me to type some commands. I'm going to type W first, which stands for write. So I'm going to type W and that means write changes to the same file. And it shows you a confirmation saying, okay, file hosts was changed. Something was written. I assume it's talking about these changes. Perfect. Now we just need to exit the VM editor. And to do that, I'm going to press colon again. And this time, instead of W for write, because we've already written the file, I'm going to press Q for quit. We're out. Let's check our file again. Pretty cool. It shows my hostname now. If I ping it, it should resolve to the local IP address. Per website 123.com. Hey, it's resolved and it's pinging the IP address. Cool. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel and visit unixtutorial.org for more. Also, if you want me to do a video explaining some other topic, just use the contact form on that website to make a suggestion. Thanks for watching. Have fun.